Couple of cat falls my ass. Hey, want it clean, don't we? Well, yes, it's MOT time tomorrow. So I'm giving it its first clean for quite some time. I just fitted a new uh, screen trim. It's been in the cupboard for over a year. The other one was just here. And it ended abruptly, but I thought I'll tuck it in under here and clamp the bolts against it. It'll stop it moving. And that's how you meant to do it. But upon re-tightening that one, I had a click. <laughs> it's cracked the bloody screen. It would do one of the the thickness of this under the gap. So I've just got some super glue and run a little bit on here to dribble it down so it'll cover the crack and the edge of the screen trim. <sighs> it won't come loose. That was weird the other day. I thought the controls felt a bit loose. I've been going to work every day. When I got home, missing bolts. How can they work loose? There was about 8 mil. You know, the thread depth is about 8 mil. But luckily, I've got loads of spur ones of these on my older bikes, my X4 and my Super 4. I got some aluminium cup washers, red ones. And I replaced them with uh, stainless steel allen bolts. Right, Scruffy, been pinching my cat's food. <laughs> yes, that's something else I've done. I've took down the blue tire pole in from here and put my Homer Simpson shower curtain up because it's been stuck in the drawer for a while. I've abandoned See through lets a lot more lighting. See through. So there we are. Let's hope it doesn't rip in any strong wind. I'll put some rubber, you know, rubber backed metal washers here and there. Very jubbly. Whatever. Right, I'll get on with cleaning it. Got some rust. I should get my uh, smooth hammer out, out later and touch it up here and there. I think I'll colour them brackets black. It's about for a 14 year old bike. And yes, if it doesn't start pissing down like yesterday, all day, I'll take it for a little spin to dry it off after. Right, so that's number two bucket exhausted. Well, a week ago I was sat in Settle, sat settled in the sun in Settle, having baked spud and prawns. Uh, clean my bike, it's spotless. Just been touching it up with some black satin hammerite and some silver. 
That was on the uh, gear linkage, it was a bit rusty. And instead of faff faffing about with a wire brush, kneeling on the floor, I just <laughs> brushed some uh, silver paint on. Well, that's it, MOT tomorrow. I might add this to the little oops, trip to the rocket centre. Yeah. Yes, I've just been to Aldi, and because I was going to get the bike out, I thought I'll not go in the pub opposite my usual routine. And I came home, and I noticed the skies were black over Burnley Way. And then it started pissing down, heavy shower for about 10 minutes. So I thought, sod it, I'll just keep the bike fresh for the MOT. Hopefully it'll sail through, but as I said before, it happened last year because I got new tyres, 200 quid for a pair of Bridgestones last July. And as Bandit Nev says, it's called scalping. One side seems to wear flat on one side of the front tyre. It's a bit of a concern, and Bandit Nev said it's a camber of the road. So, hopefully it won't fail because of that, because there's plenty of tread on. There we go, dear, two pound odd for marinated king prawns. I hope I can eat it. <laughs> I hope I can eat it all. Uh, but, uh, well, I've not had any dinner, so this is my evening meal as well. That's chicken for cat. Look at that from, um, uh, what's it called? Aldi. 149. And the cats love this. They left some yesterday that I got from Morrison's, and that's a pound for a little bit. But they love this stuff. Where they are. A lot better that shower curtain, can you see? That's all the lighting, plus I can see the bike. Well, it's the start of my holidays. Hopefully the weather will improve. Can't go anywhere in the pissing rain. Well, I can, but I'm not going to. I don't want web feet like uh, Hepcat Harley and Mandy have ended up with. It says on each side I meant to turn them over one at a time. My sister doesn't eat these. She says, how can you eat them? It's like eating insects. You might as well eat leatherbacks in the backyard. <laughs> I said, don't be silly. You don't think what they're like when they're on the seabed with a thousand legs and feelers and big beady eyes. Oh, we need some new butter. I can't believe it's not rotten. I know it's bugger all to do with bikes, but uh, not going out when it's pissing rain. I saw that in uh, Aldi. Kentucky bourbon barbecue sauce. Thousand Ireland dressing. I'll mix them with that and put a little dash of that on the side. <sighs> See what it's like. System blocks. Oh, I won't mix them up with them. Uh, I'll miss Bloods of Cooking. I'll set these upstairs. La da 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 <coughs> Ginger, what are you doing there? Hey, silly. Aren't you? Is that your new spot? <laughs> Ginger, what are you doing? What are you doing there? Oh, little squeak. Little baby, let's go down there. Silly. <coughs> oh, yes. 
What's Bobby doing in here? Come on down, good boys. You two have to come up here. Come on down, Bobby. Oh, sod. I want you a lot up here. Must be attracted to my new bed cover. <laughs> You should be up here, Ginger. I don't want fleas on my rugs. You coming down? Come on, Ginger. Come on, you have to go there. Goodbye. You coming down? Too sad. Like a zoo with you lot. <coughs> The Road to Mandalay. It's some kind of oldie show they have on Radio Lancashire. I've gone a bit mad with the sauce, but never mind. It smells alright. Ah. Ah, Becky. Uh, don't like all this rain, do we? Hmm? Come here. Okay. 